Hello. Like the past few weeks, we also have an interview today. Today, we're interviewing Unwelcome Storm. How did you discover Worm? By now, I hardly even remember. My best guess is it came up in conversation in a gaming social group, and I got curious and decided to investigate. All I knew was that it was something about superheroes and a girl with bug powers, so I was pretty surprised by the full content of the novel. How does it feel writing one of the most read fanfics on Space Battles in Sufficient Velocity, if not the Worm fandom as a whole? Disbelief, I guess? I'd written a few things before, but never on the same scale as Hunter or Constellations. The overwhelming support and enthusiasm my writing has garnered has really changed how I consider this hobby, to the point where I'm actually giving serious thought to writing an original novel, after I finish what I've got started, of course. Constellations in particular has been a unique experience. I struggle with some pretty severe depression, and I started the fic when I was just crawling my way out of a particularly bad episode. It's very soothing to write. But more importantly, after every chapter I see more people comment on how reading it made their day, or helped them cast off a terrible mood of their own. There's this sensation of actual gratitude that I get from reviewing the responses, and knowing that I've helped others feel a bit better makes me feel better, too. What was your favorite part of Worm? Anything pre-time skip. I much prefer internal conflict over external and the first half of Worm does a good job of keeping to the inner struggles of its characters, and showing how those inner struggles influence their behavior against the outer struggles. The latter half of the novel was much more concerned with grand battles and wider-scale conflict, and some of the recurrent decisions and themes really turned my stomach. I like the novel and all, but the ending parts were a real slog to get through. You often include a lot of nuance and subtlety that gets explored later on in the story, which also leads to moments of utter brilliance. See, not good dog, bad dog, irresponsible dog. How did you develop your writing style, and do you plan everything out in advance? Any advice to other writers who want to have such a strong plotline? My actual process is a bit haphazard. First of all, I approach things in a manner similar to storyboarding getting the images of scenes that I want to incorporate solidified in my mind first. Then I examine those scenes to figure out what's going on, and when slash where slash why slash how. Those considerations link up to other scenes, maybe in the future, maybe in the past, maybe just in a different location. Once I have a rough progression of scenes, then I can start writing the spaces in between them. It's like building a spider web filled with photographs. The other important thing to keep in mind is that I take a page from Yoko Taro's book and plan stories backwards. That is, I start with an ending that I want to see, then I start examining how that ending comes about, creating those storyboard scenes along the way as I work back to the beginning. This would be my major piece of advice to other writers because in any fandom I see a lot of writers who start out with a really strong beginning, but who haven't planned for an ending, and the story just kind of fizzles out as the writer paints themselves into a corner, so to speak. Make sure you have an ending, then get a beginning, and let the middle take care of itself. What was your favorite thing to write? Hard to say. I've got a number of things going and they all fulfill a different need. I've got a particular fondness for Hunter, but man oh man is it emotionally exhausting to write. A lot of your characterization and world building are so well done and fleshed out. Once again, any advice? Even if you have no intentions of writing a scene from a certain character's perspective, imagine it anyway. Getting into the head of any character requires exposure, for lack of a better term. The more time you spend considering things from someone's perspective, what they see, how they react to something, how they describe or explain something to themselves, the easier it will be to slip into their role when you do need to write them. You've mentioned before that Go Gently has influenced parts of Constellations. Besides obvious things like Hunter having elements from Bloodborne, where else have you drawn your inspiration from? I mentioned Yoko Taro in a previous question. He's a game designer and scenario writer who's responsible for the Drakengard, Dragon on Dragoon series, and Nier. 
I don't actually know how to describe those games other than to say they're really something beautiful. Heartbreaking? Insane? But they are definitely a unique experience and I think the atmosphere and design of his works has helped to influence my own quite a bit. What's your favorite fanfiction and why? No answer for that one. Fanfiction is like a buffet you should never fill your plate with just one thing. There are a bunch of stories that I like for a bunch of different reasons, and which one is my favorite changes from day to day. Any other recommendations? Try new things. New genres, new games, new foods. Finding something that you like that you previously had no idea existed is a major thrill, and can spark all kinds of ideas. Thank you very much on Welcome Storm. See you guys next week.